two seed survive. Exterminator 2 face Arnold, Arnold Terminator. And up against those great sports judge red two, Bearmoth. In the pens, Bearmoth about to go into the arena. Now, basically, it's two scoopers up against each other. Yeah. But you have got a smaller target area than they have as Yeah, such. well, we've got the width of the bucket on the front end. So by keeping that to their robot, we should be able to get them over. And you've got zero ground clearance on that bucket, haven't you? Yeah, basically the bucket actually rides along the ground. So, so you're in with the fighting chance? We're in with fighting chance, yes. Good news. The judges are here at the bar. You're quite pleased with yourselves, aren't you, after that melee? Why? Extremely. Yeah. You lifted that uh, walking robot, which was 160 kilos. So you we didn't know you could do that, no. did you? <laughs> Straight on its back. Now, in this bout that we're about to have, I believe there's a quarter of a centimetre difference between your ground clearance and theirs with the flippers at the front. So, how are you feeling? Great. Ours is lower than theirs is, so that's all that matters. Yeah, but there's more areas for them to come in at you. You've got a bigger surface area of actual yeah. bot. Yeah. Just do, you know, have to try and spin it round on itself, uh, stop and getting in at, at the side. That's uh, the main thing. OK. Yeah. Good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you very Let's much. Let's hope you're pleased. You certainly will. Stand by. There's Judge Shred 2, the Leicester based team. Alan Blakeman in the middle, his son Paul on the right, and Bearmoth, the Pritchard boys. Again, it's Anthony in the middle at the controls. Kane Aston's with them, BSc in computer studies at Hearts University. And you need Bearmoth of Trundler. Judge Shred 2 is the quicker away. Indeed, he's just about the quicker robot. You get up to seven miles now. Bam off the top speed of six. Bam off the clutches of dead metal. Dead metal drawing Bam off back into the CPZ. Using great power to get away there. Two motors from a wheelchair gearbox. Powering Bam off. And there's the front scoop in underneath Judge Shred 2. A little lick of flame on the back of Judge Shred 2. Being extinguished though in the air of the arena. Top hold. Overgo Judge Shred 2. Now, can they use their self riding mechanism here? Very slowly, they're trying to get the axe to self right Well, they promised they had a 3 mech, and I don't think it's an effective one. And we are about to pass sentence on the judges. Well, the court of the Robot Wars Arena says... You will be taken hence to a place whence and thence you will be pitted by Sir Killalot. And that's very quickly, Judge Shred, you can write yourself. Oh, look at Killalot on the floor. It's so slow and deliberate, the punishment for the judges. Dead metal clutches, Judge Shred. There goes the saw, bash, and Killalot in there as well. Shunt wants a piece of the action. And all of a sudden, Judge Shred 2 looks minuscule, doesn't it? And weak and puny in the presence of the house robots. Judges, we have the last laugh. And the full stop to our sentence is nine for you. Crash from Shunsax in the soft underbelly. They begged, stole and borrowed parts for their machine, the judges. Three holes. Well, the judicial system of Robot Wars sees the scales of justice weighing heavily against the judges. They're out. Bermoff goes through. Cease. Where was the major damage caused for Judge Shred 2? Was it the fire, I wonder, burning out the electrics? We'll have to find out from the pits, but certainly Bermoff flipped them over. You see, there was no power in the self running mechanism, and then the house robots finally came in for the kill. Well, an end to law and order for Judge Shred. The Bermoff boys are back, and they bounce through. Come on, lads. I think you suit the wigs. In fact, I want to go with that one. Go with yeah, go on, give me a go with that, yes! It's great pulling, that one. Hey! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know.
Well, you brought some sartorial elegance to proceedings, but unfortunately, oh, that's, that's about all you brought, really. We want to go to a court appeal. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I mean, you were flipped over straight away, and we haven't your got... self-writing mechanism didn't seem to work, did it? No. Well, there is that. <laughs> but uh, we had four motors in it, because we're overweight, we had to take two out. So ah. we haven't got any power, any pushing power. Shouldn't have been overweight. Well, there is that. Yeah. You've got to go for a lighter material next time. Yeah, will there be right. a next time? Oh, there certainly will. Well, we see you then, ladies and gentlemen. Judge Shred. <laughs> I've got wind back. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Well, I suppose that went according to plan, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Nice and, nicely over. Well, you've gone very far in lots of these competitions, but you've never quite made it to the end. No, we haven't. Hopefully, third time lucky. Is this year your yeah. year? Yeah, hopefully. Well, we'll yeah, wait hopefully. and see. Let's hear it for the beer moth boys. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Well done. <laughs> Great wing. <laughs> Bearmoth through to the heat final. Out go the judges. Next up, Exterminator 2 against Arnold to Arnold Terminator. And they create an upset, I wonder. What happens? The top, fl the top flipped off and we lost our kill switch. So we went upside down, we've got no all. power. So it was just dead. It was just. Two kilos of scrap from then on. Yeah, basically, the lock grabbed us by there, held us in position. And then chunks everybody else came in and uh, started hacking us to pieces. And this damage is basically from when it was on its top. Shunt stuck his axe through the bottom and uh, went into this lot, and that's mangled it all. So that's why we couldn't do anything.